Okay, so hello everyone, welcome to the lecture three. And in this module, we will learn how to create a simple Hello World program using Eclipse IDE. So before we jump into Eclipse IDE, we need to understand a couple of basics. Let's see that now. Now in Java, before we create a class, so how things are organized is a package in Java, a package is group of classes and a class is group of methods. Now, now it's something like when we have a country, so normally let's take a country, a country will have group of states and states will have group of cities. So why they have classified like directly country can have cities, right? So the reason why they group into states is for better organization. So similarly in Java, a package, a package is group of classes and a class is group of methods. So now using IDE, before we create a class, we'll first create a package. Now, now just keep this in mind for now. Don't worry about anything else. A package is group of classes. A class is group of methods and variables. But this we are going to see in detail in object oriented programming. But just this keep in mind for now. Now with this, what we will do is we'll just go and create, a, we'll just go and start with Eclipse IDE. Now. Now that we have installed Eclipse ID in the first lecture of this tutorial series, so all we can do is just in our desktop, we have Eclipse ID for enterprise. So what I have to do is let me click on this, double click on this. Now I'm just opening the Eclipse ID for the first time. It might take uh, 15 to 30 seconds. Okay, so when you open the ID for the first time, it'll show you the workspace. So workspace is, where, is a folder where uh, your Eclipse ID will create all your projects. Now, in case if you're not comfortable with Eclipse, the default workspace. So I want to create my all Eclipse, uh, all the projects in Eclipse uh, from this folder. So let's take, I want to create in courses and I want to write here, create new folder. And I want to create here my Java projects. So let's take, I want to create all my projects in this uh, D try my Java project. So I can copy this path and and paste the path here. Right click on this, paste it. Now I want to create all my Java projects in this folder. So this is called my workspace. Now click on launch. So that will open the Eclipse IDE and whatever projects I create will be created inside that folder that I selected. Now it might take uh, up to 10 seconds. It's taking more time for me. It's taking more than 15 to 30 seconds and it just opened the pop-up now. So let me maximize this. And by default, you'll see homepage where uh, uh, Eclipse Java Enterprise Edition ID for web developers. Let me close this welcome page. So this is a welcome page. Let me close this. Now what I can do is I can create a new project. So all I have to do is file, new, and I have to select here Java project. So I don't find this Java project here. So I had to click on this project. Click on this project. And here you will find Java project. Now click on next. And here you can give the name of the project. So I'm giving this here uh, Hello World project. I'm just giving Hello World project. So you can notice here that it's creating in my folder itself, D try my projects, my Java projects, which I selected some time back as my workspace. And it's selected here Java standard edition 14 that I have in my computer. So in case if you have multiple versions, you can select here. So I only have one. So I just, um, I just leave it as it is and, um, and click on next. Now here there, there is something called create module info.java. We talk about this later. So I don't want this module info.java uncheck that and click on finish. And by default, the web, uh, the, uh, Eclipse ID will open a web application perspective. So I want to change it to Java project perspective. So perspective is nothing but uh, the folder template, the project template that by default your ID will create. Now I want to create this template as Java project. So I'll just click on open perspective. Don't worry about this for now. Click on open perspective. Now, now you can see here. So I have this uh, uh, default one page. Click on close. So it's closed it. Now you can see here in the left hand side, I have this package explorer and uh, and now I can expand this in case if you don't see package explorer by default, if it's got closed, how you can see that is click on uh, here, navigate and here you can select here. Let me just a second. Yeah, window, sorry. So window, 
and you can select here show art view and what window I have to see here package explorer in case if you don't see that click on this package explorer okay so I can see the package explorer and I'll, I'll show you once again just click on this window and click on this show view and select this package explorer so you will get this package explorer now expand this and expand this and we have this source code we don't have anything so it's a good practice so as I explained in the in, in a slide there a package is group of classes so before you create a class it's good to create a package so what I'll do now right click on this SRC and new package so I'll create a package because I want to group whatever classes I create into this package so I'll write here simply my package so I'll just click on finish so now I created package now I'll create a class inside this right click on this new class and I'll give the class name as hello and I want to create main method main method is a place where program execution starts so I have to select this public void static main so click on this checkbox that will add public static void main inside this hello class right so click on finish now you can see here it just added some code so let me increase control shift plus is what to increase the font size control shift plus so I just increased it so you can see here it just created package my package and inside that I have a class and inside that I have a main method now don't worry about I normally make this brackets uh, in line so this bracket will be in line with the closing bracket this bracket is in line with the closing bracket and don't worry about this string art this is called command line arguments we're going to see that later okay so now we have created a package inside that we created class and main method is a place where program execution starts and static and void also don't worry for now right so why do we need to use void why do we need to use static we will see that later for now just right here so how do we print in Java programming we print using system dot out dot println system dot out so so you can see here IntelliSense is supporting out dot print ln so I'll just write here hello world and I'll write one more line here system dot out dot system dot out dot print ln I'm just writing here welcome to Java programming and enter so now now what I'll do now I just added two lines so I'm done with uh, writing the code let me click on run this so I just need to click on this run so it'll automatically compile and execute both the steps will be done together so click on this now I just need to click OK and you will see the output here hello world welcome to Java programming so this is how you have to create a simple hello world project in Eclipse IDE so first we created package and then we added a class and we added these two lines and don't worry about the string arts which is command line arguments and static void uh, don't worry about this a package is group of classes we have one class now a class is group of methods we have one method main method where program execution starts right so all of you practice this type this run this see the output if you get some errors fix it and in case if you do some mistake right let's take I've done some mistake here I've put P capital now your Eclipse ID is very smart that it will highlight here and it'll show the red line indicating that that's an error so when you move the mouse on this you can see here the method print line is undefined so uh, so you can change it to P small and now how to execute this click on this here so just run hello click on execute and uh, it'll open a pop-up now click OK now that will show you the output hello world welcome to Java programming okay so I hope this is clear so everyone please do uh, using Eclipse IDE complete this please practice it and have a good start with Java programming thank you and see you in the next module